Hello. Okay. Hello. How is everybody doing? Hope everyone is having a good evening. Hey, Deborah, how's it going? Hi, Vanessa. Okay. But, hi, Deborah. Hi, Vanessa. How's it going? Hope everyone is having a good weekend. Well, it's now the end of the weekend, but you know how it is. Hey, neighbor girl, Bradshaw. How's it going? Hey, Lucy, how's it going? Hope hope you're all having a wonderful night. <coughs> but. Good. I'm glad, glad you're doing good, neighbor girl Bradshaw. You'll have to excuse the way I look. I am pretty sick. I think I have a cold. Just not feeling super great, but... Of course, I'm not going to miss my live stream. So, hey, Deborah. But anyway, has anyone done anything fun t this weekend? I hope so. I live vicariously through other people because I have no life. But hope I hope somebody did something fun this weekend at least. Anyway, oh. <coughs> okay, so super duper excited. I am doing okay, Vanessa. Um, like I said, I'm a little sick. Um, yeah, just not feeling great. I think I have a fever, coughing, sneezing, just all of that. So, hey, Ariella, how's it going? Neighbor Girl Bradshaw, I'm a part of the No Life crew. I think we need to make t-shirts or something. Seriously. It's horrible. No, I actually enjoy, like, I kind of enjoy just doing the same thing over and over again. But. <coughs> anyway, I'm super excited. And we still, we marked the video as, like, a paid sponsorship. It, it's not a paid sponsorship, but I did get PR. I know. It's crazy. Um, they, anyway, so very long story short is I got sent the newest generation of the Epilady. Because, you know, they watched, Epilady watched my video and they contacted me and like, hey, you know, we would love to send you a new, a newer, a new Epilady. I'm like, cool. Yeah, sounds great. Um, this is going to be absolute torture because the very first one was absolute torture and it's pulling hair out at the root. So I'm assuming it's still going to be torture, but we're going to try it. <coughs> but, um, let's see. Ariella, good. I started live streaming on Meet Me. You should try it. I've never heard of Meet Me. Hmm. Deborah, I'm part of it also. Huh. Is Meet Me like a new social media thing? But. Lucy, we made and ate cookies. Ooh, what kind of cookies? Um, any cookies are good, though. I'm even, one, I'm even part of that special club that I even like oatmeal raisin. I know, we're a very special elite group of people, but I do. But. Anyway. Okay, Ariella Cole says yes. So it is a new type of social media. Hmm. Ooh, chocolate chip. Lucy Lynn, chocolate chip. Heck yeah. Hey, 70s girl, how's it going? But anyway, oatmeal raisin is delicious. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> Deborah, I'm part of the No Life group. It's nice. It's very, very nice. But... Anyway, it is still sealed and everything. I haven't even opened it because I wanted to save it for a video. And Sean was like, you should do a live stream um, on it. I'm like, you know what? That's actually a great idea. Except I have to try very hard 
not to swear. Um, something that you don't, you guys don't know about me, but um, I actually swear like a sailor. Like in my everyday life, I swear a lot. Um, you know when it's appropriate, like at home, whatever. But like obviously not at work. But um, yeah, I'm one of those. So. Oh, goodness gracious. Why am I doing this? Uh, let's see. Uh, 70s girl, looks like I joined in at the right time. Cookies, heck yeah, heck yeah. Ariella, Cole, you get gifted diamonds and they translate into money after like 200,000. Oh, wow. Neighbor Girl Bradshaw, I like being at home. Honestly, too many people out in the world for me. I agree. I totally agree. Um, Ariella, you can video chat with your viewers live there. Oh, that's cool. Somebody's girl, oh, I have a good old potty mouth. Yeah. My dad was actually in the Navy, and he says I swear worse than a sailor. So. <sighs> It's gonna be so bad. I lost the, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, this comes off and this pops on. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what all this is. Okay, and I think this pops on. I don't know. I guess there's instructions for a reason. Okay. I'm going to plug this in for a minute and then we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is going to be so bad. Ah. Uh, okay. Vanessa Burroughs, I swear like you would not believe, Kim. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, you know, I try to come off as a lady and everything. And I mean, I know you can still swear and be a lady, but I try to, I guess, act classier than I am sometimes. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, let's see, Ariella Cole, but you can also make viewers bouncers and they kick off perverts. That's awesome. That's why, that's what I have Sean for. Um, Deborah, I have a bad potty mouth. My hubby nicknamed me Debbie Potty Mouth. <laughs> uh, about you. hopefully it won't hurt as bad as the original. I hope not. I'm guessing it's going to though. Um, Lucy, OMG, it looks like a file like you'd use on your feet. Hubby says it looks like an automatic cheese grater. Oh my gosh. That it so does. Oh, okay. Let's read the directions. Cause it came with, um, came with a few different little heads. So, okay. So this is the legend. It's the fourth generation. Let's see before your first use. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what this thing is for. It doesn't really tell me in the super helpful diagram, but we're just gonna do this. I'm ready for it. Hey, okay, need to remember I can't swear because I'll get demonetized. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> okay. Ariella Cole, my ex-husband was a sailor, but he never cursed. I was a Marine and I do curse. Yep. Seven just girl, that up later looks scary, like something out of a horror movie. I agree. Deborah, I'm not classy. I belch out loud a lot. <laughs> Lucy, like the end of Fargo. I know this is gonna shock everyone. I've never seen Fargo ever. Okay. So I'm gonna do my arms. So 
I do have hairy arms. I wish the camera would pick it up. But we're gonna go ahead. I need something to bite on. Just in case. Okay. <coughs> okay, do you see how scary that looks? Let me turn it on again for you, but it's up close. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going, yep, sometimes you have to let the air out of the balloon. That's true. Okay. <coughs> let me take a drink. <coughs> I'm gonna stop procrastinating. We're gonna try this. Okay. okay. Oh, there's two different levels. I'm sorry, can you tell I'm like totally, but there's like a level one and a level two. Let's see what level one looks like. Oh yeah, let's try it on level one first. Okay, 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 let's do this. Okay, yep, need a break. <sighs> okay, um, but heck yeah, I mean, oh man, I wish you could see it. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it. You can see my skin shiny. Um, yeah, still hurts like a Dickens, but it is smooth. It totally ripped out that hair. And you can see all the little hairs sticking up out of the Epa Lady. Yeah, you can see, like, it just totally hold them out like it's they're caught in the little teeth <sighs> okay oh that's gross it just is fluffing hair everywhere ow okay need a break Oh my gosh, the, okay, sorry. It's starting to turn a little reddish pink, but yeah, okay. Totally smooth. And then you can see where all the hair is. Okay, so first of all, I don't think it's as painful as the original. I mean, it's close. It is close to as painful, but it's not Okay, if the original, like the one from the 80s, was like 100% painful, this is probably about an 80-85%. It still hurts pretty bad, but it hurts, it does hurt less. You know what sucks, though, is I either have to shave my arms tonight or finish using this. Uh, should we try it on the high setting? Okay, Lucy, is Freddy Krueger the CEO of Epilady? Maybe, maybe. Name a girl Bradshaw. Oh my lord, I don't think I need one of them. <laughs> Lucy then, okay, officially started a new group called Pets Post Epilady Tra Trauma Support. <laughs> Deborah, I'm swearing right now. <laughs> 70s girl, epilators, the piranhas of hair removal. That is extremely true. Um, Vanessa, ouch, I remember the pain I used mine once and threw it out the window. Hey, Sherry, how's it going? I am doing good, except I'm using an epilating on my arm, so, you know, it's going to be great. It hurts like a dickens. Okay, let's try it on the fast setting. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. Okay, need a break. Oh, oh goodness. Um, it rips out the hair a lot quicker. Sorry, you can probably see hair fluffing everywhere. Okay, so yeah, 
Oh, that hurts. Oh, man. Ow. 70s girl, I have a battery operated shaver, so I am good. <laughs> uh, Deborah, stop it. Lucy said, OMG, I hurt for you. I need a Tylenol. But the thing is, is, yeah, I've already started doing it, so I need to finish it, or I'm going to have weird looking arms, right? That's what I'm going with. Okay, I'm only shaving up to the elbow because, you know, good girls only shave up to the elbow. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that totally, very quickly and efficiently removed hair. Oh, that's so gross. I've got, like, hair trapped in the little wheel. I don't think this little brush thing is really going to get everything out. Do you want to hear a horror story? I was reading about Epileides. Oh my gosh, my arm is burning. Like, burning. Um, I read that there are some women out there that use this on their downstairs region. Yeah, no. Never in a million years. You could not pay me enough money. Like, literally. If someone's like, Kim, I'll give you $100 million um, tax-free. I'd be like, nope. Uh. <coughs> 70s girl, I need a glorified Tylenol after this. Uh, yeah, it, it would be so bad. I mean, I, like, my skin feels like it's on fire. With the epilady, it, it rips it out by the root. It's supposed to keep it smooth for six weeks, but it hurts. It hurts bad. Do it. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Never <laughs> girl Bradshaw. Oh hell no. Vanessa, why would women why would women use that down there? I don't know. I do not know. That's a great question. It hurts like the most right here, like on your wrist. Oh, okay. <sighs> Need another break. I'm doing so good. No F word yet. Oh, <laughs> Whew. that smarts. It smarts bad. <sighs> oh. <coughs> Ariel, <laughs> labor looks relaxing next to that. Oh, yeah. That thing, neighbor girl Bradshaw, that thing should come with numbing cream. Ooh, sound is girl. Lucy, ouch. Like taking your arms and scrubbing them on pavement. Lucy, it sounds like a pencil sharpener. It totally does. Uh, Jennifer Fallon, OMG, I have tried using this before and it does hurt like hell. I would stick to a razor instead. Vanessa, tattoo is less painful. I have two tattoos and I can attest to that. 
Yeah. Oh. Deborah, maybe a tube of lidocaine cream. That's actually not a bad idea. 70s girl, I'd rather have a colonoscopy awake. <laughs> you guys know how to have a good time. I'm almost done with my arm. It's smooth though. It feels nice. It did remove the hair faster, easier, and more completely than the old Epilady. Okay. Okay, so the newest generation of the Epilady. I actually kind of like it. It hurts. It still hurts. It hurts really, really bad. Um, I've never, um, I've never, what is it called? I've never waxed or anything. I know there's some people like that's all that they do. Um, I don't know if this hurts more than waxing because I have never waxed, but it is way faster than the original one. It is more sleek and I kind of like it, but there's no way. There's no way to get all the little hairs out of this. There's no way. And honestly, if this will actually keep you smooth for six weeks, I would grow my leg hair out just to use this. Um, yeah, I mean, it hurts. But it takes about the same amount of time as shaving. And... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> takes about the same amount of time as shaving. And... It is going to be longer lasting because I can attest it does tear the hair out by the root. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it feels warm to the touch. Um, definitely. It definitely feels warm. Um, but it looks nice. And if this prevents ingrown hairs and all that kind of stuff, then I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, I... Is this gonna be like my go-to like hair removal thing? No, but I mean, I shave like once a week and my hair grows quick. So if I have to like suffer through a half an hour of using this epilady on my legs, but I get six weeks of not having to shave, I mean, it kind of evens out for me personally. So eh, I think it'd be okay. Ugh. Um, for all that pain, though, it looks great once it's done. It does. I really, really like it, actually. Um, 70s girl, well, Lucy, let's round out the good time with a good old-fashioned pap smear. <laughs> Deborah, you're brave. Ariella, that's a great gift to give to an enemy or if you want to make one. That's true. Um, Deborah, root canal. <laughs> oh, let's see. 70s girl, tooth extraction. Deborah, I was, and it doesn't hurt. Waxing. Oh, okay, so waxing doesn't hurt. Hmm. So I'm just going to I wonder if the pain is the same for bald men that go for hair grafting at the Bosley Clinic. That's a great question. Yeah, Ariella, I'm good. Thank you. I'm just, I, I got like a really bad cold. Neighbor Girl Bradshaw, I don't want to be hair free that bad. 70s Girl, ooh, I think I will stick with stubble. <laughs> Deborah, I agree, Kim. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, this is nice. Um, I used to shave my arms in high school because I'm a very hairy person. Um, you've seen me shave my sideburns. Um, 
yeah, just very hairy. And so I hated the way my arms were. So I used to shave them in high school and it was a pain. And yeah, the stubble, I let them grow out like in like senior year or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, it looks nice and it feels nice. It's nice and smooth. So I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. So, <coughs> but. so I wanted to share really, so this is the second time kind of getting PR. I got the Nug Beauty masks and then the Epilady. The reason why I wanted to show doing it on live stream is because like I said, Sean had a really good point. Um, you know, the way YouTubers, you know, you film, you edit, whatever, and you can totally edit something to look a certain way. I've never personally have done that. Number one, I use my cell phone. Number two, I use like a $3 editing software. And, and I'm, you know, I'm an honest person. I'm always going to be 100%. But I kind of want to just do this on live stream. So that way you can actually see what it does, my reaction, that it does remove the hair. It hurts like hell. But I mean, it's part of the deal. So... But no, I, I actually like it. I don't know if I would ever do my underarms. Um, I would do my legs. I would do my arms if I still shave my arms. Um, I would never do my downstairs area. No. Um, so yeah, my legs. I think I would do my legs um, with the upper lady. Um, and like I said, if, if I get six weeks of no stubble, um, then heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, 70s girl cringing, my skin would be on fire if I used that. Oh yeah, I mean, because all it basically is, it's like a whole bunch of little tweezers. And so it's just ripping that hair out. Um, and you know how your eyebrows feel after tweezing, if you go too long without tweezing and like you do like one mad big session, your, your like little brow area can be red and swollen. Yeah, that's what my arms feel like. They feel warm. Um, they feel a little bit tender, but... Yeah, they're, it's not bad. I actually, I like it. I like it a lot more than the original white one from the 80s. Um, I like how, like, compact it is, too. I mean, yeah. I could sit on the bed and scare the cats with this, like, while I'm doing my legs. So, heck yeah. Heck yeah. But, yeah. Oh. Uh. But that's my, really my first time getting PR or getting sent something for like free um, from a company. Um, I like it. I, I think it's cool. I, yeah. It only takes eight hours to fully charge. And fully charged, it will give you 45 to 60 minutes of epilating power. That seems like a really long time takes eight hours to charge and you get 45 minutes to an hour. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Oh, there's 40 tweezer discs. Gentle massaging action. Up to 32,000, 32,000 tweezers per minute, per minute. So it's going to tweeze at your hair 32,000 times in a minute. Wow. That is horrible. That's horrendous. Yeah. Ooh, Vanessa, I think it's best not to over edit as I think it's best to show your personality even if you can't speak right that day and stumble over your words, lol, every day of my life. Yep. Um, this girl, poor Thor, already is scared of the stuffed rhino. That epilady would send him right, right, right to a kitty shrink. It's true. Yep, I still keep the rhino in the bedroom. Um, he's becoming very brave, though. I'm very, very proud of him. He's doing a he's doing a good job. Um, he's doing a very, very good job. So, yeah, I think he's getting more comfortable. Um, I think he's getting trusting. I mean, gosh, he's only been with us for. You know, a little more than a year, but yeah. No wonder um, it it hurts so bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, if it's tweezing 32,000 times a minute, yeah, I mean, no wonder. No wonder it's a little painful. But heck, like I said, six weeks of, uh, of you know, not, um, not having to shave, yeah, I, I would put up with that. I sure would. But... But, yeah. <coughs> so, um, what are your people doing for dinner? So, what happened with the possible third kitty, 70s girl? Yeah, that's a sad story. Um, we actually went back yesterday and to look for Little River, the little flame point Siamese. And it's a good story. He actually got adopted. So, unfortunately, we didn't get River um, I'm glad he got a new home. I got, I'm glad he got a home though, because he, he was, he was beautiful. This beautiful little flame point Siamese. So, but, oh my God, Deborah. Yeah. Oh my man. I think she's gone, but I'll, I'll check in on you later, Deborah. Dang. I hope her dog's okay. Oh man. I just broke my heart. I hope I hope her dog's okay. But <coughs> Somebody's girl, that's good. I'm sure you'll have another chance sometime. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that he he got a home. He he's beautiful and I um I just really hope that he got a good home because he he was a little he was a little tear so but <coughs> oh do you boys want to sell it say hi yes But yeah, unfortunately, River was adopted, but let's see. But I want you guys to meet Fergus. So this is Fergus. Um, we adopted him yesterday from Four Paws. Um, he... Is supposedly two and a half months old. Oh, thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you so much. That's very, very sweet of you. Um, but yeah, this is Fergus, and he is neutered, and he is a brat. He's already a brat. Um, but the boys are getting used to him. Um, yesterday when we first brought him home, it was a little bit tension filled. Um, but they're, they're getting, getting used to him and everything. So, which is good. But yes, he is a sleepy boy. Huh? Huh? Yeah. You've never been in this room. Huh? But yeah. Yeah, but he is a um, long-haired little orange tabby something. He's a fluff. That's what he is. He's a fluff. Um, he's learning rules. Um, we ate dinner a little while, you know, a little bit before going on live stream, and we don't put the boys away or anything, and he kept getting put down because um, he tr kept trying to get into plates, but... He's, he's a pretty good little boy. He's a pretty good little boy, huh? Yes. Yeah, I know. We're trying to, we're going to be trying to break him of putting the claws towards the face. But, yeah. We named him Fergus because it's a Scottish name. 
and I don't know, since he's got red hair, he's a little bit of a ginger. And you can pet anything with it. Fergus the brave, Fergus the good, Fergus the bad, Fergus the farty. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Huh, Fergus. But he's a very, very, very sleepy little boy all the time, so. But. Uh, let's see. Oh my Kim, he's adorable. Thank you, Shannon. He is. I love him. He's so cute. Um, let's see. 70s girl. He's already a love bug. This is good that you chose a kitten when you already have two adults. This will show him his place in the home. Feline social hierarchy. I hope so. Because he seems to be a little bit bossy. And Castiel is such a pushover. Young man, stop it. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta keep your paws to yourself. Um, Castiel's such a pushover that um, he that I'm afraid that he will start pushing Cass around, even though Cass outweighs him by 24 pounds, you know? So. <coughs> Gotta keep your... Nope, nope, nope. Paws off the face, please. Um, Lucy's little paws. Oh my goodness, yes. Gross. Gross. You okay? You okay? Okay. Let's see. 70s girl, Fergus the flirt. Fergus the floof. Exactly. Fergus goes with everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um... Sherry, your cats will teach him everything he needs to know. I hope so. Let's see. Meh, Fergus is a kid going through that piss and vinegar stage. Exactly, exactly. He is. Very, very much so. Okay. Goodbye. I think Daddy's going to come get you. Yeah, Daddy, if you want to come get Fergus the floof. Oh, and he farts like a, he farts like a trucker. He is very gassy. There's dad. There's dad. Go see dad. There you go. There you go. Aww. Bye. <coughs> Lucy, OMG, so cute. That That's the best. He is so smart. He is. He's very smart. He's very loving. Um, he's he's going to be a, he's going to be a good boy. He's going to be a very, very good boy. So we really wanted River because River was older. Um, and I just always feel like as cats get older in like fostering situations or whatever, then sometimes it's hard to adopt out older or adult cats. Um, but yeah, when we went there yesterday, River was gone. So we had already discussed if the orange kittens were there, um, we would get one. And I'm kind of glad we did because there were two left, him and his brother and there were kids just mauling him. And I'm not saying that kids can't be good with pets, but their parents need to teach them how to be good with pets. And these parents were just kind of letting them maul them. And so I'm, I'm glad we, I'm glad we got him. Um, his name at the, at the four paws at PetSmart was Narnia. So, um, obviously he's at that age where we can, we can, uh, we can change his name and he'll learn it and everything. So we just thought, um, we just thought Fergus was cute because he's very furry and then him being a redhead and Sean being Scottish, you know, and then, yeah, just, it can go with anything. So, but, Yeah, exactly, exactly, 70s girl. No no mouthing behavior when people let their pups or kittens do that. It's hard to break them as adults when they have bigger teeth that hurt. Exactly. So we're trying to break them in slowly, um, not clawing the bed because they have a clawing post, not getting up on stuff when people are eating, you know, um, trying to keep his little paws away from faces and stuff like that. So, um, 70s girl, absolutely. Kim, I hate parents that don't teach kids how to properly treat an animal. Yeah, it's it's horrifying. 
Um, and then a lot of times animals, kind of like with Thor, you know, Thor was an outside kitten. He was very small, but he lived with like a two-year-old, three-year-old, and later found out that um, this little girl, which by no fault of her own, she was very aggressive with Thor. And that's why Thor's pretty skittish now. That's why Thor, it seems like to me, obviously I'm not an animal behaviorist or anything, but it seems to me that he, he has a lot of anxiety. He um, is not very trusting. Um, and it's, you know, it's that those learned behaviors when anything, whether you're a human or an animal, it's, they, you know, he learned not to trust people. He trusts Sean and that's about it. But, but let's see. Um, let's see. Seventies girl, nobody putting their fingers in the animal's mouth. Yeah, no. Oh, Thor, dang kids, yeah, yeah. Poor little guy, but, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, just wanted to introduce Fergus to everybody. Um, he's, he's a little bratkin, but he will, like, like you guys said, and I agree that Thor and Castiel will teach him the ways of the ropes, and we will too, and... Um, all that, but, yeah. <laughs> Seven days, girl, humans are not chew toys, exactly. Neighbor Girl Bradshaw, Kim, we're not supposed to have a pet. Kim gets a third pet. Yeah, gets a third kitty, yep. Well, we had, we had three, um, when, you know, when we had Tonka, when Tonka, Tonka was, uh, alive, um, and we, we've been discussing it for a good long while about getting a third. So, yeah. Seven days girl, I knew it would happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, threes are a limit. Um, legally here in Utah, we can have four. I could not deal with four. Um, so, and plus just financially, you want to be able to take care of them. You want to be able to afford things that they need and everything. So I think, yeah, three is definitely going to be our, our max for sure. But anyway, but yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to try out the Epa Lady on camera. I do like it. I think it's worth it. And uh, I wanted to show you cute little Fergus. He's, he's adorable. He's a little brat, but I think all kittens kind of are, but... <coughs> Anyway, guys, um, I, sorry, I have to cut this short. I have to be to work early tomorrow, so I have to go clean up from dinner and jump in the shower and go to bed early because I have to be to work like three hours early tomorrow. It's going to be great. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, Kim, you need a girl cat to stir the feline pot. I, there was a beautiful feline, uh, female there, but I promised Tonka that we wouldn't get another female. So, gotta stick to my word. And plus, female cats, they're just, there's something about boy cats. They're just, I don't know, they're sweeter. So, you can tell so much about someone by the way they treat animals. Kim, I'm betting you are a good person. I try to be. I do try to be. I, t I, I do. Lucy, uh, fur babies are so expensive, but worth it, they are. He was his adoption fee was $75, um, but he's already fixed. He's um, has his first round of shots. We have to take him back um, the 7th or 8th to get his his other little... So we got his boosters, and he has to get, like, the other ones. Um, so, but yeah. <laughs> Lucy, thank you for making the sacrifice and trying out the Epa Lady. Jerry, have a good night and week. I hope you do, too. So his girl cats, girl cats are like friends. Male cats are like babies. Yes, exactly, exactly. Seventies girl, exactly. But, <coughs> but neighbor girl Bradshaw. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys. I will see you guys next week. I'm gonna kick this cold, and I'm gonna be a more interesting and lively person next week. I promise. I promise. 
<laughs> Shannon, three hours early on Monday should be outlawed. I agree. It's pretty bad. Good night, Kim. I hope you have a good week. The early start again will be a shock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But everyone have a good night. I will see you guys next week for sure. Have a good one, guys. Good night.